What's up, guys? Welcome to your Team Thursdays. On your Team Thursdays, we definitely get down with our road dogs, so make sure you text, call, DM, whatever you need to do to get your partner there, your push partner there, so we can get after it. Starting with the first portion, we do have our hit and our strength between our flex option. If you're going to be doing either option, you're going to be doing the same movement. The only difference is, is that, one, you're going to be doing lighter weight, and you're going to be working one minute of the two minutes. If you're doing group two, then you have reps that we've been working on for the last six weeks, but now we're doing our lowest amount of reps. But let's jump into the explanation. We're going partial deadlifts. If you're doing partial deadlifts in the hit, the way that looks with light weight, shoulders pinched back, tight stomach, making sure that barbell is touching your shin so you're not rounding your back and your lumbar area, arms are lengthening, and you're never bending them. Big deep breath, blow out for the next minute. We're gonna control these deadlifts down our thighs, keeping it near our shins. Once we get two inches from the ground, we power back up, controlling. The weight that you select, ladies and gentlemen, need to be weight that you can go unbroken for one minute. Once the one minute hit, you would drop it, you would rest and recover for a minute, because that'll be the whole two minutes and we're working our way up to 16 minutes. That's a lot of booty, that's a lot of hamstrings, all right? If you're gonna be doing the, um, the strength, this is the sixth week of the program, you'll notice that reps go down, weight go up, all right? So reps number one, two, and three, you're doing four reps. Once you finish those first three rounds and you're only doing four reps, you're gonna increase weight, right? Because now you're gonna be doing in round three, four, and five, three reps, and then you'll increase weight around six, seven, and eight, you'll be doing two reps. This is where your PRs get there. But my goal for every single person that's doing this movement is for when you're getting those heavy workloads, you're not rounding your back, you're not changing your form, you're not hitting the ground, you're still stopping two inches prior, controlling that weight up and controlling that weight down. But you're still doing partial deadlifts. Guys, it's gonna be our strength workout portion. And then we're gonna go into our conditioning. With our conditioning, you're gonna uh, have a partner, A, and a partner B. Both of you would need a set of kettlebells and y'all can share one plyo box if y'all around the same height or same athleticism. But let's pretend I'm partner A and Milton is partner B, all right? I'm facing him or we're side by side. We're gonna alternate, do kettlebell swings. Your kettlebell swing definitely needs to be challenged with some heavy weight. But when I swing, Milton would then instantly swing and I would swing. Once you get a rhythm, you pretty much won't stop, but you should be alternating. So. I go, Milton's up. I go, Milton's up. You would do that continuously until you get to 40 seconds. Once you get to 40 seconds, you would do the same exact thing on the box. But this one changes a little bit because you might not be able to go more so as fast or at rhythm. You just go when your partner get back off the box. So you're doing box jumps for 40 seconds, making sure that you can get on this box even when you're dead tired. So don't choose the highest box and one you can get on for the very first round or two or rep or two. Make sure, trust me, you want to get on this box even when you're dead dog tired. And I'm good with you guys grabbing a bumper plate or maybe two bumper plates and stacking them. But I'm on one side of the box, Milton's on one side, athletic stance. As I load over my, in, my arms, I power up, I get on top of the box and lock out by standing up and then Milton will jump on and then I will jump on and we keep tag teaming and alternating until we get to the 40 second mark. Once we get there, we get a 20 second break. Everything I just explained, was one round. We're going to do this continuously until we get to a total of five rounds. Ladies and gents, let's get after it. Let's be great. This is going to be your conditioning for your team Thursdays. Guys, take a selfie with your partner. Let us know how I go. We can't wait to see you conquer it. Take care.